Hey beauties, it is your girl Jessica Nicole. Did you miss me? And in today's video, I wanted to do something more um, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I know everybody is excited about Halloween and things of that nature and fall and all of those beautiful things. But we have to put into perspective that this month is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so I do have a family member who went through it twice luckily she caught it in the beginning stages and she is a survivor um she's very near and dear to me and if i lose her to cancer i don't know what i would do and i also lost another family member um a couple years ago to cancer she reminded me that it was breast cancer awareness month and of course because she is my baby i had to do this for her and I went through a lot to do this makeup tutorial. She puts me through a lot already, but I hope she appreciates it so much. And this is just to show my love to her creatively. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias and to go for the boobies. Um, I color corrected already, so we're just going to go in with my Fenty foundation. I am in the color 410. It does oxidize and get a little too dark for me, but once I highlight, contour, and everything else, I look just fine. What I do, because this foundation dries so fast, I put two pumps on the back of my hand, and I start off on this side of my face, so I just take my finger and just apply the foundation. And then I just quickly go in with my beauty blender because I don't really like her sponge for blending this foundation. And just blend it out in this one area first. I'm not crazy on coverage, so if it's like coverage, that's fine for me. And I did prime already, but all I used was a for perfecting primer, I don't use any other primer underneath this foundation. For concealer today, I will be mixing. Um, I will be using my Born This Way concealer. This is my last one from my backup, so once this is done, I guess it's done. And um, my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in deep. With this foundation, product clings to it, so I have to move a little bit fast. So I'm gonna apply and blend. So to set, I will be using my Sasha Buttercup Powder and instead of using this beauty blender, I will be using the Fenty Sponge to set. So I'm just going to quickly dust away any excess powder. I'm also going to set the rest of my face. Even though this foundation kind of doesn't need all that stuff, I'm still going to do it anyway because it's just my regular routine. I'm just going to set my face with the same powder as well and I will be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. I'm not going to finish off my face, I'm actually going to move on to my eyes. So I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is my favorite brow pencil at the moment and this is in Espresso. And then I'm just going to finish filling in my brows and I'm using my Brow Powder Duo and this is in Chocolat. Alright, so I am using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer, this is in Monday, and I'm going to get the bottom of my eyebrows, I'm not going to touch the top, and I'm cleaning up my brows with my 714 brush from Bedillion Tools, or you could just find like a flat liner brush. Alright, so in all honesty, I don't know uh, what kind of eye look I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to come off camera and do one eye. And see what I come up with and come back and do the other guy other eye with you guys so this is a look that I got um remembering that it is breast cancer awareness month and you know we got to do it for the boobies so this is what I got and I'm gonna show you guys how I got this um if my bow look a little crooked it was really really hard to get so yeah let's just get into the other eye. I'm starting off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer and this is in 5.0 and I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow base 
Um, I'm going to use my E23 from Morphe and I'm picking up the tiniest amount because a little goes a long way with this eyeshadow. I mean, what? Because a little goes a long way with this concealer. So I'm just going to pick up the tiniest amount and just apply this all over my lid and blend it out completely. I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Powder. This is in Invisible, I guess. I'm going to take my... M511 from Morphe. I'm just going to pat this all over the lid to lock that concealer in place and then I'm just going to blend everything out. So for this eyeshadow look, I will be going into the pink eyeshadows in my 35B palette from Morphe. So I did not really use a transition color. I went straight in with this peach color right here to go in my transition area. Now this palette the mattes are not as pigmented as the other palettes, so I do have to dip into it a lot in order for it to work. So I'm just going to use that and just put that in my transition area and just blend it really well. If you hear anything, that is my fan. Um, I got hot, so, so sorry. Okay, so that's blended enough for me. So now I'm going to go into the shade that's right underneath it. It is a bright pink shade with like a peach undertone and that I'm going to build it up I'm using the same M511 I'm just gonna build that color up in the crease area I'm just gonna switch over to my BH Cosmetics blending brush but I'm going to go into this super bright pink color right here but this pink has like a purpley undertone to it I'm just gonna go into that it's like a neon pink color to be honest that is like the main color that's in my crease so I'm just gonna pop that right underneath that pink so I'm gonna take my R38 from Morphe to deepen up the crease I'm going to go into this red shade right here and I'm going to blend that right underneath while I'm just really really deepening the crease up and this is what made the pink shade a lot more darker. I'm going to follow with my Naked Heat palette brush. I'm going to go in with this purple shade, this deep purple shade. It does have a pink tint to it, and that's why I use this shade. But yeah, this is the purple that I will be using. I'm going to pack this in the outer edge of the eye. And then I'm going to bring this in to the crease just a tiny bit. Just gonna take my R38 and blend out that crease. Get it nice and blown. I think that looks good. So before I get into putting on the lid and doing my bow wing, I want to just cut out the outer area of my um, I look because it went a little too far so I'm just gonna take some of my NARS concealer and just cut that area right out just gonna take a dense blending brush and just blend out underneath that concealer make sure it's not harsh so I'm gonna be using something that I haven't used in a very long time for my glittery lid and this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow a Liquid Eyeshadow. This is, of course, the glitter one, and this is in Rose Gold Retro. And I'm just going to take this little angled brush and just blend out that outer area before it dries down just gonna pick up a little bit with the angled brush and just take it off the applicator just a bit I'm gonna bring this area out To finish up the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go back in with the same brush and the same purple shade and just pack that one where the two colors meet. So now for the bow, 
this takes a lot of silence and a lot of focus but I'm gonna try my best to do it so for the wing part of this eye look I'm going I'm not gonna like speak but basically what I did is I kind of did like a regular wing and then I slowly just made it into a bow watch because I can't really explain it it's really hard to explain and it's actually hard to do I almost messed up so yeah Okay, so with this eye, I tried, but I did not succeed. But you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to do. So, I did the best I could, to be honest. I, whatever. You guys get what I'm trying to do. Because I, if I go in and I try to fix it, I'm going to mess up even more than I've already messed up. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Alright, so for lashes, I'm just using these lashes. Um, they don't have a name. So, yeah. So for under the eye, I didn't line my waterline. I have not been into lining my waterline or, every, or anything of that nature. So I'm just going straight in with some eyeshadow. So to just go directly under the eye, I'm going to go into this deep purple shade. And then I'm going to follow with that pink shade right here, and then I'm going to follow with the peach shade here. So I'm going to spray this blending brush and I'm going to go into this pink shade here and I'm going to pop that into my inner corner. Of course I'm going to contour with my contouring powder which is, is a scandal from Makeup Geek. Instead of going in with uh, my antique brown from Vera Moore, I'm just going to go straight in with some power from MAC and just get these cheeks bronzed up. First, I'm going to pop on this blush from Kiss. I don't remember the name of it. don't remember the name of it, and I threw away the thing that it came in. So I'm going to use this as a highlight because... Actually, it's a super beautiful highlight, better than a blush. Just gonna pop that one real quick. But I'm not gonna put on too much highlight just because I don't want anything to take away from the eye look. Honestly, for the lips, I don't want to do anything to them, being that my eyes are so um, bold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to moisturize and hop on my Fenty Gloss. So here is your finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.